One of the areas you may want to configure with an EVE is what happens when you save an invoice in terms of printing, numbers of copies, etc. And the way we can do that is go to the sales module, go to a new invoice, and from the bottom left of the screen, you'll see a crossed hammer and wrench, a crossed hammer and spanner. It is the options button. Click on that options button, and for example, when you create a new sale, i.e. from this new button down here, do you want Eve to prompt to save the existing record you're on, or do you want no prompt and Eve simply to save that existing record? Similarly, when you save a new sale, do you want Eve to remain on that sale, to save and close the form and return to the main screen of Eve, or to clear the form and go to a new record, i.e. show you a new blank sale. You'll also see here under printing when a new sale is saved, do you want Eve to do nothing, to print immediately, or to show the print prompt? And do remember, of course, the print prompt is not just a physical print, but also a print to email, i.e. deliver via email prompt. And on an existing record, the same options for you. Now what's important is not necessarily what you set, and you'll find the best way in your dive operation for how you and your staff want to work, but that you recall that that has been adjusted by going to this options button, the bottom left of the screen, and then choosing as appropriate under new clicked, save clicked, and printing as to what you wish to happen. Now I refer to the fact that that print prompt could show you the option to email a receipt to a customer. So how can you set up that default message to go with the attachment of the receipt that you're going to send? And to do that, we'll go to this data module. We'll go to report types find. And I'm going to look for the invoice report type. I'm going to open up that invoice report type. And you'll see here, amongst other things, I can set what I want as the default layout. There are many sales receipt layouts within Eve, so I can set what I want as the default layout. The second act I can undertake is to go to this email tab and here decide when I do email out these receipts do I want them to go as HTML or plain text so that's HTML or plain text you can also set a BCC that could be the own, your own store address or a sales at or a receipts at etc address and decide so that you'll be able to see all the, the copy of all the receipts you sent out do note here the merge fields, highlighting one now, another one now that will enter a customer name, enter the data type, that is, whether it's a receipt, an ongoing invoice, an invoice, etc., and also your store name and the email address for your store, as in picked up from your store record within the data module within EVE. Those same merge fields, or some of them are also by default in the default subject line, and you may wish to add a small introductory title here beforehand, so it is your ABC diving receipt, etc. Options as for the font you use are all here, and whether this is going to be bold, italics, underlined, etc. And of course, feel free to enter in lower down any links to your website, your Facebook page is appropriate. And that's how you can configure your email to be part of the e-receipt that you can send to your customers. Now as for the receipt itself, or the layout that creates that receipt, you can access those under Tools, Print Layouts. And if I call up those in an appropriate language, again, I'm going to look at those associated with the report type of invoice and you'll see all the receipt layouts I have here. And if I go to that receipt layout there are various things that I can do here. One of those is that I can first of all just have a view, get used to what's going on and I need to explain a couple of terms to you. I'm going to click on field properties to do that and just highlight the difference between these areas 
what I'm highlighting now and you see flashing on screen, which is what we call a text box. And a text box is an area on the receipt that will populate with data from Eve. This box will populate with the customer's home address. This box here would populate with the name of your company. This box here would populate with whether this is an ongoing invoice or a sales receipt, for example. And these are called text boxes because they pull that live data and they shouldn't be edited too much, or indeed as far as the spelling is concerned at all, because it's important that in order for the customer's home address to appear there, that cust.home address is exactly how that is spelt. As far as these aspects here, these ones you sit now see flashing, this is known as a label, and a label is entirely up to you as to how you might wish that to display. And you can edit that by right-clicking and hitting rename, and if you would prefer, for example, sale number, or anything in your appropriate language to show there, by all means change that. Now one of the things I would advise to you, as far as these text box and labels that you see by default on these layouts is not to delete them but if you don't wish to use them perhaps you don't wish to have the employee name showing on the receipt is to make them invisible so you see here I've highlighted the employee text box and just make that invisible and likewise because we're no longer having the text box there I might want to make invisible the employee label now, one of the areas that you may wish to add to this is something such as a logo, which you could use either a graphic file or an image file. And you'll see here I'm flicking on the toolbox down here to say I wish to add an image file or the possibility of entering an image file to the layout. So if I click on image file, then move to an area on the layout, I can now start working on I'm just going to call this at this stage logo and then I'm going to by using this file search box here go and find a particular image that I would want to have displayed there it is important to remember that if you want to use Eve on more than one PC then you want to have this logo this image file your store image file on a shared and mapped network drive so that it can be seen by all PCs. So you can enter one in there should you wish. Now I'm going to close this receipt right now and I'm going to demonstrate to you how there are other bits of information you could add to this receipt and how you can find that. So if I go to sales and I'm going to go to today's invoices and I'm going to take one particular sale, hit print and I'm just going to print this to screen. And you will now see, to the top right of the screen, there is a button called Fields, which when I click, shows me all the other fields I could add into this layout that will then allow me to show more information on the receipt. One, for example, that may be of interest to you is this Serial No, the table name for a serial number for a particular item to be added to the receipt. And you would, should just note down the exact spelling of this uppercase letters, no space, serial no. Hit cancel on that. I can then return to, via tools, print layouts, that particular layout we were looking at before, which if memory serves was the receipt layout. Open that up and you'll see that this is an area here where this has been entered previously. I'll show you how we could do that. I can go to, I'm just for now going to remove those and show you how we could add those back in. I want both a label and a text box demonstrating this. The label, if you recall, is a free text area. So I return to the toolbox, click label, and in this area I'm going to enter in or create a new label. I'm going to call this serial number hit OK. I can drag as you can see or I can use these boxes of how far to the left from the top, the width, the font, etc. 
to make this the same as other areas. If I click on this description one, you'll see here that this is 14 from the top, has a height of 20, and has this particular sans serif font, and is also bold and italicized. So I go back to serial number, 14 from the top, height of 20, choose that same font, and make that bold and italicized. That now fits in with the rest of this receipt. I'm now going to add, again from down in this toolbox, a new text box. So I click text box, and I'm going to create a new text box. And this one is the one that I have to spell exactly, so that Eve knows what information will go in here. I'm going to resize based on those same things I did before. So I look at one that was already there. Top 0, height 18. That same Microsoft font. Go back to here. The new one of serial number. Top 0, height 18. Choose that same font. And we now have... I'm just going to stretch this out a little to the right to give it enough space to fit. Likewise with this. And we now have added serial number as a label and as a text box, i.e. static data saying serial number and the serial number that will appear when the stock item you have decided to sell and record serial numbers alongside. And that is how you'll be able to adjust, alter, edit, etc these print layouts. Click Save as you saw there and that is changed. So that is an overview of how you can adjust your receipt print layout, how you can adjust your e-receipt layout and how you can define what you want to happen when you do create a new sale in terms of printing or emailing, whether that happen automatically or you'd be prompted to do it.